Dory is not supposed to do this. What she should be doing is healing your team and selling you stuff. Now I can't heal you or your team, but what I can do is sell you stuff. Except in this case, the stuff I'll be selling is free. Cause Opera GX is a web browser built for gamers. It's also on mobile and can be connected to the PC version. And you can download it by using this QR code. One of the things I love about this browser is its customizability. Unlike Genshin's flashbanging loading screen, the Opera browser allows you to set a darker theme to keep your eyes from burning. And not just that, you can also customize the browser's wallpaper to fit your current mood or just fit your PC's color theme. Me personally, I use this Mona wallpaper that I already use on my desktop. It's a pretty cool wallpaper, all right? And if you're an avid gamer, the Opera GX Corner also shows you the newest free games, best deals, and even some gaming news if you're into that. Now you might be thinking, I wanna try Opera GX, but what about my current browser data? Well, have no worries because Opera has a quick import tool that allows you to transfer over all of your settings from your previous browser. Google Chrome extensions are also compatible with Opera, so if you use any extensions, you can easily transfer them as well. So if you want to give Opera GX a shot, you can use the link in the description or the pinned comment below to download this very cool browser. And if you do, I'm sure Dory would be happy. Thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video, and now... Back to Dory. All right, physical Dory. I already did everything, so I have the minimum requirements to get the free Dory. There we go, free Dory. What will Dory do? Dory will be our physical DPS, because why not? All right, time to level up our Dory. We're probably not gonna reach for 100k physical damage. I don't think that's possible. Just because of the nature of physical damage, you can't amplify it with reactions. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I farmed up everything for Dory. Hopefully no breaks here. Just continuous leveling up. I think I can go up to level 80 though. That would be the max. C6 Dory is actually kinda, kinda nutty. She could become an Electro DPS at C6 because she gets Electro Infusion on her normal attacks. But C0 Dory is what we're working with here, so. Oh god, wait, what? Okay, I guess I didn't farm everything. Okay, we'll focus on her normal attacks, right? But for her normal attacks, I think I think we're good to go. Okay. Just a couple of these. We'll craft those later. Six. We'll give her the only physical claymore I have, which is the Snow Tomb Star Silver. It's an okay claymore for a physical build. Artifacts. I'll try the four piece Glad set first, and then we'll try to do a full physical build later on so we could see high damage from her spinning move. How much damage do you guys think Dory's gonna deal without buffs? 25k per hit. I feel like 3k is a little too low. 6 to 8k probably. With buffs, I feel like I could reach 20k per hit. Like all of the buffs applied. This is gonna be the team though. Dory can activate Pale Flame. I think I read somewhere that it does. But either way, I don't have a 4 piece Pale Flame. So that information is useless to me right now. <laughs> Last Ascension and... Okay. There we go. Max Dory for now. Talent level 8 should be fine though. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Yo! <laughs> Her attack stat is actually so low. The crit rate crit damage is fine, I guess. Wait, hold on. Maybe we'll give her a crit damage piece instead. Yeah, let's give her this piece. 46.6% crit rate, 165 crit damage. But the thing with the crit rate though is since I have Rosaria, it, it's gonna go up quite a bit. So and then physical damage bonus, 92.8%. We'll do a no buff test first, just so we could have a baseline. All right, I feel like this is gonna deal maybe 5k or something. Joink. Okay, 3k. Actually so low. Oh, that was an 8k crit. What the fuck? Again, <laughs> my crit rate is... Pretty much 50-50 right now. Let's try to do it with a superconduct here. With superconduct? Yo, where are the crits? Okay, 9k. 9.7k. This damage is actually so copium. My Rosaria actually has a shit ton of crit rate. I gave her like every crit rate substat that I have. This one has 10.9, 13.2, 15.6, 13.6, and a crit rate circlet here. Rosaria for the C6, cause physical shred. With Superconduct, I was dealing 9.7k on the first hit, but now I wanna try it with Rosaria's burst for the physical shred. Judgment. 
All right, that's everything. So from 46 to 61.6, around 15% crit rate, give or take. Now with the physical shred, 14K, but that was the last hit. 10K, okay, that was 10, okay, 10.4K. 10.4K on the first hit there. I feel like with Yunjin, it's gonna reach maybe 15K. Now let's try to do Rosaria with Yunjin. Okay, with Yunjin, boom. 7k non-crit, boom. A oh, 18k, more than I expected, so kind of satisfied with that. My Yunjin is rocking the death match. So right now, there's no death buff here, just because it's a single enemy. And then I, I actually managed to farm a four-piece husk, which if you didn't know, it just gives like a crap ton of death. So right now I have like 2,886 and I also maxed her because I just realized that leveling her up actually increases her defense as well. These artifacts though, it's, it's an unlucky artifact, but it works on Yunjin. This one, kind of the same. Only Sans piece I have. Fortunately, it landed on death, because why wouldn't it land on death? This looks pretty good for like a Noel DPS as well. I've seen some uh, rumors that Ito is going to have a rerun, so I might do a DPS Noel in the future. And then for the Goblet, defense as well. Nothing special, but plus 56, flat death again. All right, we'll do the final test with every buff, like with Bennett as well. Bennett, I don't think you guys need to see my Bennett. You've seen my Bennett like a million times, man. I feel like it's gonna reach 25k at least. Okay. Ooh, 26k, what the, okay. My prediction was on point there. Actually beefy damage, but it's not that high. Cause I remember my Razor was dealing 30k per hit with the exact same setup here. Try full rotation to see last hit. Okay, let's do that. I have to keep Yunjin in the background though, cause that's how Husk gains stacks right here. One, two, three. Oh my. 33k though. It was kind of at the top of the health bar there, so you couldn't see it, but 33k, but I think Bennett's burst expired there. I don't think I could reach the last normal attack there, just because Dory's attack animations are pretty slow, or her attack speed, I mean, is pretty slow. Let me actually check out. Oh, she only has three hits. Okay. Boom. One, two, three. 34k. The timer was actually blocking it, but that was pretty much 34k. But I guess we'll try the full physical build in this domain as well, but we'll do spinning moves. All right, let's see the physical damage bonus here. Now it's up to 167.8. One, 35k. Oh, oh, 46k. 46k for this setup right now. Okay, for the spins, Yunjin is basically useless here. 15k. It's only 15k. Plunge attack. I could try plunge attacks, but I don't think I can dragon strike here. Venti C2. Yeah, just for the charge attacks, maybe I could use Venti C2. We'll remove Yunjin because she's not going to be helpful in the spinning moves. And we'll replace her with Venti for now. I just have to use my E skill and it's going to shred resistance by 12%. Two piece bloodstain plus two piece pale flame. That could work, but I don't think I have the right pieces for that. Four piece bloodstain. Yeah, I don't have a four piece bloodstain as well. Maybe we'll try four pi or two piece glad two piece bloodstain. Give that and then... Oh, there we go. Two piece pale flame, two piece bloodstained. Yeah, I think this could work. The attack is still pretty low, but since we have Bennett, I think it's going to be fine. Okay, that crit rate is duk duk. That a stinky crit rate right there. We do have 142% physical damage bonus. And if we go inside the domain, I'm pretty sure that's going to be like 200% or something. Food buff, true. Let's do a food buff. The usual crit rate food buff. Okay, I want to check my my Yunjin's death here. Alright. Yeah, there we go. 3k. So this is with the deathmatch passive here. Okay, one. 45k. Boom. 49k. Okay. It's pretty high. It's. I think it's almost the same as... <laughs> I think it's almost the same as the last setup, actually. Just a little bit higher, I think. Let's do the plunge attack, guys. Almost half of 100k. That is true. That is a very factual statement right there. Venti, Bennett, Rosaria, and then Dory. That's the set up right here but i gotta make sure to hit them okay 
Okay, here we go. Boom! Yo! 58k! That's almost... Uh, okay, it's not almost 100k, but... This is with 217% physical damage. Can we reach a 69k Dory, though? I feel like that's gonna be the goal right now. 69k. Let's try to eat some food. This one has physical damage and crit rate. I feel like my other food buff expired. Let me just eat another one. Physical food gone? I don't think so. I, that that should last like five minutes. I don't think you can have the crit rate food and physical food. Wait, does it not stack? Physical damage is definitely boosted here. Crit rate? Okay, I don't know about that. Maybe it doesn't stack? I have no idea, man. Group them with Venti's Q. Wait, let's try this first. Okay, here we go. Boom! Oh, okay, that was 58k. That was the same as the last time, 55k, or 58k, I mean. So maybe it overwrites then? Okay, let's check the physical thing. Okay, so it doesn't stack, because it's back down to 217%. Boom! Yo, 60k! That was 60k! That's like a 1k increase. Actually getting hyped over a 1k increase in damage. 60.9 though. I feel like I'm satisfied with that. 60.9, pretty close to 69. You just gotta move one digit to the left. Definitely sane logic here. Okay, so that was the crit rate food buff. So now I'll try the physical damage buff. Okay. Okay, that was 55k. Wait, that was 62k. What the fuck? Did y'all see that? That was 62k. Okay, I think I'm happy with the 62k. The 60.9k even was better, I think. <laughs> I think I'm done with this. No more Dorries. I don't want to play with you anymore. Toy Story meme. Physical Dory, kinda whack. Let's see how many people built a physical Dory. Okay, 0% apparently. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Maybe I am part of the 0%.